What's up YouTube, it's the Apple Tech over here and today I have a review of the iPod Touch 4th generation 6 months later. Now I didn't do a review right away so I would get time to determine the pros and cons of this device. So, let the first main upgrade over the 3rd gen is the cameras. This has a 0.7 megapixel camera on the back capable of shooting 720p video at 30 frames per second. This also features a front facing camera capable of shooting uh, VGA quality photos and videos. Now, the back facing camera is a decent camera. It's not going to replace an actual camcorder, uh, uh, actual camera, but it's good for just shooting quick videos. Now, I use this for most of my videos. Uh, that's why you don't see a lot of iPod Touch videos. But it's great if you have a good lighting, but if it's low lighting, the quality is just terrible. And the video uh, quality is great, but the uh, picture quality is not as great. Front facing camera is, you know, decent. It's good for just taking self portraits and stuff like that. Now it also has a microphone built in. I use this for all of my videos. I use this for voiceovers. I'm actually recording it on this now so you can tell the quality. I just take it in the uh, voice memos app and just send it to my computer. But you can tell the quality on this and it's very useful. I'm really glad that they put this in the new, de uh, the new device. Now the next major feature is the retina display. This features a 960 by 640 retina display with 326 pixels per inch. This is huge. I didn't think that I would really notice this, but it turns out to be one of the best features of the new device. When you go from a 4th gen to a 3rd gen, you can really tell a difference. Now the 4th gen device is also a bit thinner than the 3rd gen, measuring it at 7.2 millimeters or 0.28 inches thin, compared to the 3rd gen which was 8.5 millimeters. Now the um, metal backing that surrounds the iPod also protrudes a bit less away from the screen, uh, resulting in the uh, sharper feel around the corners and making it feel a bit thinner. Something else new in this model is the introduction of an actual physical speaker hole. In previous models, the sound actually came out of the 30-pin dock connector, but in the new generation, it actually has a physical speaker for the sound to come out of. This results in a lot crisper sound and a lot... Fourth generation iPod Touch also includes a built-in gyroscope, just like the iPhone 4. I'm going to show you in this app called Gun Range. I have a review for this up on YouTube. It was my first video, so if you want to see that, just click on the iPad right now. I'll put an annotation. And if you're on a, a mobile device or you don't want to click it, I'll put the link in the description. <clears throat> so, basically what the gyroscope does is you can just turn your iPod just left and right, and it will actually you know, show it just like it's three-dimensional, just like you're looking through a window. Um, this is really cool. Honestly, I think that it has a lot of potential, but I don't think that app developers are capitalizing on it enough, uh, since there's a lack of apps that support it, and the apps that do don't really, you know, run smoothly. Like, I believe uh, Nova uh, uses it, but it doesn't run as great as the uh, joysticks. But it's pretty cool it's something to have and I'm glad that they uh, introduced it now Apple also updated their processor to the Apple A4 processor that is found in the iPad and the iPhone 4 this clocks in at 1 GHz and is a big improvement over the uh, third generation processor which was a Samsung ARM and clocked in at 800 MHz and the second gen which clocked in at 533 MHz this makes the device run smoothly and I found little to no lag at all and it basically improves your experience and makes everything run a bit better. Now one improvement I could suggest to Apple is to include a bigger battery. When I go to sleep I plug it in and then I unplug it when I wake up so it's a full battery and sometimes it doesn't even last me through the whole day and I don't use it a lot. So you have to keep your brightness down to maintain a charge for at least two days. So. That's my only improvement. I could have sacrificed a little bit of a uh, little bit of thinness to put a bigger battery, but you know, it's decent. So that's my review of the iPod Touch fourth generation, uh, six months in. Uh, it's a great improvement over the third gen. If you have the third gen, it's worth it to upgrade. Sell the third gen, buy the new one. That's what I did. Um, there's so many more features that you don't want to miss out on. So that's it. Uh, if you like the review, want to see more, subscribe up up above. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you have the 4th gen? Do you like it? Are you going to get it? Uh, just leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Alright, follow me on Twitter. Links in the description. That's it. Peace.